Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina, and my special guest, Hortensia. She don't really talk a lot. She's just gonna be in the background while we get glam today. I really like recreating some of my older videos, especially like my first year of when I started this channel era of videos, because a lot of people tend to forget who I am, who I was, and where I come from, apparently. I also really like recreating my old videos because it kind of like, let's see how it compares then versus now. I do my makeup a lot differently now than I did 10, 11 years ago, and so I picked out one video in particular. It was on my channel called Steamy and Parfait More. Obviously I ran out of really original titles. Don't know why I called it that, but it was just this kind of like mint slash purple vibe. To this day, one of my favorite color schemes is mint and purple. So I'm gonna be recreating that look on my channel, the new updated, upgraded, elevated version of that look. This video is also gonna be done in partnership with Belief. I'm gonna be featuring yet another one of their holiday gift sets this year. This one is available at Ulta. It's called their Let It Glow set. Now, there's one thing about these videos is I'll be doing nothing to my skin until I sit down on camera because I want to give you guys all the tea, all the scoop. So with that being said, my skin is really dry. I'd like to swiftly get into this. Let me zoom in. Oh, that's better. I know you're seeing pores, neurons, brain activity. My skin is in the, it gets worse before it gets better stages of a chemical peel that I literally just did two days ago. My skin is significantly drier than what it normally is. And the dark spots on my face are significantly darker because this is literally what happens to the skin right before it's about to peel. And baby, when she peels, you're not even gonna recognize, I'm not gonna know you and you're not gonna know me. Let's just leave it at that. I'm gonna be a bad, you know what? No, I'm, I'm kidding. I just hadn't really done anything. You guys know esthetician's been closed. I've been holding it down POP at home on my own, but there's only so much I can do. So I got this chemical peel and I just wanna let you guys know if it looks worse, that's because it is, so don't judge. But I still do need to moisturize. And so we're gonna be featuring the Let It Glow set, which contains four of some really awesome products from Belief. There's only one product in here I have not used, which is the Witch Hazel Herbal Extract Toner. I've only used their other toner that they offer it so it's very hydrating it's very nourishing so in this set which is 38 us zoolas mind you we know it's the holidays what you gonna do for the holidays get your friends some of the stuff that you probably otherwise would not pay full price for <laughs> No, but honestly though, I really feel like this gift set is like a great way to kind of get your feet wet before trying maybe a new brand or gifting someone special. So the Believe Let It Go set includes a full size true cream moisturizing balm, which I'm gonna be using today. When I started my YouTube channel, I wanna say I moisturized my skin, but there really was a period where I did not moisturize at all because I, like maybe some of you, believe that if you had oily skin, you were not supposed to moisturize. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me, but I am so, glad that I also have been learning and using products that really allow me to embrace having oily skin because 11 years ago around this time I was really so obsessed with like everything being matte and full coverage and cakey you want to talk about growth nowadays I'm like oh if it's a little oily that's cool if it's not full coverage, I'm cool with that. So a lot of Belief's products really allow me to embrace that including this moisturizer. It's so good. It smells really good. It has kind of this light spa essential oil eucalyptus scent to it. And then I always like to put the remainder on my hands. Y'all, it's winter, please. For the love of God, lotion up the cracks in between your fingers. We see it. If we can see it on an iPhone, could you imagine what it looks like in 4K? Exactly. Lotion up and get the cracks of your heels for those of y'all still wearing sandals. California and Floridians, okay? I'm talking about you. I haven't worn an eye cream. Luckily, this Let It Glow set also contains their moisturizing eye balm, one of my favorite, actual favorite eye creams. It's a little mini. You have a little mini travel size. Also what comes in this gift set is a mini Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. This cleanser is so good. It lathers up really nicely, really, really just blocks the skin without like drying it out, especially right now because it's winter. Yes, even here in LA, okay? Dry skin is real. And like I said, you also get a mini size of the Witch Hazel Herbal Extract Toner. This is the only product from Belief I have not used, but if it's anything like everything else, I'm sure it's probably really, really good. Bump this. I'm gonna put this in the description box where you can of course find, as usual, all of the other products. And by the way, the set itself costs the same as the full size moisturizing balm. So you're basically getting like four products for the price of one full size. If that's not a steal, I don't know what it is. Thank you again to Believe for sponsoring today's video and we're gonna jump right into the makeup. Now, 2009 Jackie Ina would do eyes first, so that's what we gonna do. And I had to do a lot of work to figure out what I was gonna use for this video because 
steamy turquoise pigment from MAC. I mean, back then all I used was MAC because I worked for the brand. I got a lot of it in gratis. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of improvising and I hope you guys don't mind, but at the same time, this is supposed to be the new elevated version of that look anyway, right? So, so I should be allowed to cheat new product. So what you just saw me do was set my eyes. I'm first creating a base on my lid so that we can prep for our shadows. And this is something that I also did back then too. Y'all, I tried to be real messy and find some 2009 Facebook posts to like read while I did this video, but I can't find them. I was just weird back then. I did a lot of oversharing, I think from the years, probably since I first joined social media until about 2017, that was when I was like, yeah, maybe I don't need to post that. Hmm. By the way, I do wanna say YouTube, we know when we love ya. But guys, YouTube has changed the way a lot of you guys are notified of my new uploads. So if you have not joined the notification squad, please do go on my channel page, click the bell, and you'll be notified of new uploads. But the way you're notified is different. You don't get email uploads anymore. You now will get either actual drop down notifications on your phone. I'm not really sure, but anyway, just please make sure you do that so you'll know when your girl hit the new upload. As a black content creator, even with 3 million subscribers, like I still have to to promote and give ways on how to find my content. You know, it's real at Shandy Streets. I don't know what the heck is going on with my brows, but like, where did they go? Uh, okay, this is where all the improvising started. I got this palette from Color Grain. I got this palette from Norvina. I, just between the turquoise and the purple, I didn't really know what direction to go in. So I'm gonna mix this matte lavender color from Huda's palette with B5 from my Norvina palette. And I'm gonna mix those two colors together and I'm gonna start blending them in the outer part of my crease. Now I was really in most of the discovery phasing of makeup, 2009, I would say to like 2013 era. The reason for that is because I was just really starting to like really step up my skill level. I was starting to learn a little bit more about like facial anatomy and like what I like. And I was learning myself and discovering my style. So a lot of my older videos, that's why they're so like different and colorful because that's just what I loved at the time. And also that was what I was really learning to work with the most. But why does this already look pretty though? Oh, thank God for growth, Amy. Man, there are so many things about my makeup back then that I would never do now that I used to do back then. Shout out to everybody, uh, Lil Pumpkin Pie 05 gang, 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 that remembers me putting Milk of Magnesia on my skin as a primer. <clears throat> what was my problem? I don't know what in the Barclay Stadium I thought I was doing, like why I would need my makeup to last that long anyway. It's not like I was running marathons. It's not like I was giving stage performances. It's not like I was doing drag. Like I just don't know why I would need makeup to be that bulletproof to like do normal things like go to the movies or go to work. Actually doing it for work made sense, right? Without adding color, I'm gonna take a blending brush and just hit around the edges of where I applied that purple. I'm just soften it out a little bit, just so it looks more blended, less harsh. Oh my how rude of me, I was not trying to give y'all a close up because I did not want y'all all in my skin, my bad, but I gave in. Here's where it gets a little tricky, okay. MAC turquoise pigment represents a big, huge part of this look and also steamy eyeshadow for MAC, neither of which I own anymore because they're probably discontinued. And even if I did have it, ugh, why would I wanna use some old 11 year old eyeshadow? Throw, throw it away, throw it away. So I think the closest that I have guys is from the Colored Rain Juicy Boost palette. This is the second cameo she's making on my channel. And that turquoise loose pigment from MAC was very vibrant, very beautifully deep, rich blue. Very much so like blueberry burst from this palette. If this is the closest it gets, then this is the closest it gets. I've actually really been dying to use this color. Remember when People used to actually, that is stunning. Oh my God, let me load on more. Remember when we used to use color dyes? Oh, that's so, this is duochrome. Do you see this? It's like one minute, it's lime, almost kind of a seafoam green. The next, it's literally teal. Wow. I don't know what to do with myself because this color is so freaking pretty, but I low key kind of like missed all of our wild colorful looks. I wouldn't even know what to wear. Now I told y'all I used turquoise pigment from MAC in the original look. And then I think I put steamy on top of it. And steamy is like this really light, slightly shimmery, color for Mac, way old, but very vintage. I'm speaking a particular language and if you work for Mac, you know what I'm talking about. And like I said, I ain't got that color. The closest thing that I do have to something similar or something just as pretty is from My Alley Beauty. And this is a loose shimmer pigment in the shade I, oh, that's, 
the weight. <laughs> I was gonna say I gram. There's no name, but I'm pretty sure these come in like a pack. Even look how pretty it is next to my nail color. So pretty. We need to lighten all this up. So let's go ahead and add that color. Oh, that. Oh, you know what? It looks like the secondary color that's already in that eyeshadow from Colored Rain. Oh my God, I could not have used a more perfect color for the step. And you know what? I almost kind of feel like we could even really take it there because this look is really not supposed to be this shimmery. It's supposed to be a combination of shimmer and like matte semi sort of shimmery shades. But I kind of feel like if I used Energy Boost from the Color Rain palette on top, 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 let me just do this in baby steps because this when I start experimenting with stuff, that's when things go awry. Let me just... Oh yeah, that's, oh, 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 bang it. All right, y'all, so I'm using both. I'm using both because I like the way they look. Both my pigment from My Alley and this matte green minty color. And then with little hints of lavender, I'm gonna start working that color towards the inner eye area, as well as my outer V area. Come on, blended to perfection, come on. Stop playing with my credentials, stop playing with my credentials. It took me a while to realize that, that you wanted to be me. Now in this look, I did use Black liquid liner. Nowadays, I would not use something that harsh and definitely not something black, but that was just the sign of the times, you know, back then. Like black liquid liner was everything. You could not be a matte girl without a super colorful eye or at least like a super no less than four shades and like finished it off with black liquid liner. What I would do now is I would go for more like the same liner color that I use in my crease. I would use that like on my lid too. I love just using my crease color also as a liner. I just feel like it looks so sick. It's giving very Cosmo and Wanda, I know, but that's the vibe, okay, that's the vibe. That's the vibe. Back then, it was pretty like normal to just do eye looks, just do lip looks, you know, just like really a la carte focused parts of the face. I really didn't generally do like the whole entire face in my videos like I kind of do now. I had to like adapt to that over time, but even though I didn't do that back then, it's not gonna stop me from doing that in today's video. So I am gonna jump into complexion, which is wildly different from how I would do complexion, like I said, 11 years ago. I do like to contour first now. I'm gonna take my Oma cream contour stick. I think I used the second to darkest one. You know what I miss? I miss the movie theaters. I'm just gonna say it, okay? Am I the only one thinking it? I miss going to the movies. Am I the girl? This is actually the best my skin has felt and the most moisturized my skin has felt because of that moisturizing balm since I got my chemical peel. I literally have to dry my skin out because that's how it's gonna encourage the peeling. So it's actually kind of nice for my skin to like feel normal and not be. If you ever got a chemical pill, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It literally feels like sandpaper. Don't ask me to do it in a YouTube video. Y'all better be licensed over here trying to put chemicals on your face. One thing I also do very differently now is concealing underneath foundation. Even though I did go through my little Bobbi Brown phase where I was doing this for like a year, but I was definitely doing it differently than the way I do it now. I just feel like I get a much better match with this routine. And usually I end up using less foundation because the concealer does a lot of covering for me. For foundation, I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty foundation sticks, the faux filter foundation sticks. But by the way, shout out to everybody who watched and enjoyed that review. That review's doing really well. I actually didn't know if you guys cared about reviews anymore. So that was a great temperature check. If you wanna learn a little bit more about this foundation, please check out the review. I'm gonna be using 500G around my mouth and then 450G in the surrounding areas because I like to have a little bit of depth. That's definitely another thing that I do differently now. And that's honestly circumstantial. I do a lot of layering of different gradient colors. 11 years ago, I really did not have that many varying undertones to choose from. We just did not have a ton of options to choose from at all. In order for you to like really build a multi-dimensional multi B face, I mean, that was only something that you could do if you were like light or medium or tan. If you were dark, rich, you can just slap on NW50 like the rest of you hookers and get in line, okay? It's all you got. Oh God, I see the line appeal. I see it, it's coming now. Oh my God, I'm gonna be crusty in an hour. Now next, baking is truly an American staple, okay? Baking is in the preamble. Not my founding fathers, but your founding fathers used to bake too. I ain't gonna overdo it, girl, cause I'm not trying to be cracked and looking like a mosaic by hour three, honey. And you know I had to do it to him with a bronzer though, because let me tell you something, bronzer? was something black people didn't even know we could use until, I don't know, 2017? Please let me know if I'm lying in the comments. Bronzer back then was like just 
highlighter for us, but there was actually no like actual bronzers. It was either a contour product, which we just barely started to get dark enough. Girl, now I don't even wear contour anymore. I'm like the CEO of bronzing. Now in the name of layering, I'm gonna go back to my colored rain palette and take a little bit of this orange carrot color. It's really vibrant. It's really vibrant, but watch this is how I do it, okay? I take literally just a dab of that in between where my bronzer and my powder are and I pop that on my forehead. This is just a nice little gradient effect I like to do to kind of just, you know, amp up the skin, warm it up a little bit more. I'm still gonna wear blush, calm your tits. I didn't skip blush yet. This is just a way to enhance bronzer. You can do blush too. You don't have to use an orange eyeshadow. I've got plenty of orange blushes. I just didn't feel like getting up. Now the Jackie y'all know and love now didn't quite really, I think it hip to the inner corner highlight, the inner corner highlight gang until like, I don't know, three, four years ago. In this look, I don't recall wearing an inner corner highlight, but for today's look, I am. I sure am. I'm gonna go back to the pastel lilac palette from Huda Beauty and this really pretty light lavender shade. I just added a dab on it into my inner tear duct area. Now allow me to wig it up. And the last way to finish off this look is with the staple that is revealing lip gloss. I just wanna talk about revealing lip gloss for a second. When I started my YouTube channel, it was very much so like going against everything women of color are told not to do with makeup. One of those knots was nude lips. Every time I would go to a store or I would look for a particular product and I would be like, hey, you know, like where are the nudes for like black girls? And they'd be like, oh, that doesn't work for your skin tone. And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or all right, bet. Let me just, let me just see the product. Let me just, I'll, I'll figure it out. Let me just see the product. I don't wanna hear all that. <gasps> What's wrong? So I don't remember how or who put me on the revealing, but it was really like my first nude ever. So it does hold kind of sentimental value. Now I don't have any more revealing glosses because that color in particular is discontinued. I was holding on to the revealing train, God, for so long. Like it was like my first true nude. Like how do you forget your first nude? You feel me? The closest that I have to that though is from Artist Couture. And I think this might be one of their newest shades. I just literally got these in PR like two days ago. So I'm just gonna use it. The shade that I have is X rated and it is a lot like that peachy kind of brown undertone, which by the way, most nudes are pink. And I guess a lot of y'all forgot we, the, the rest of us are not pink. So a nude for me really is like a true peachy brown shade. First I line my lips with Fenty Stunna Lip Paint and Unveil. I'm gonna take the gloss from Artist Couture on my fingers so that I have plenty of control. And oh, that is such a good color. Oh my God, that's such a good color. Under normal circumstances though, I would probably wear this with a pink lip, not like nude. Like I would actually wear this with a nude pink, but to keep it on brand child, I just figured just grab it, just do it girl. These smell spicy. Okay, Angel, I see what you're doing. I swear it smells spicy. I've never had a spicy smelling lip gloss. All right, y'all, so that's the end of the look. What do we think? Be honest, you know I'm fly. Stop, play, stop, don't play yourself. Don't do it, don't do it. 2009 Jackie was so, I don't wanna say shy. Shy is not really the right word. Apprehensive, still weird. Definitely very much just as weird then as I am now. Naive, pure and definitely not yet liberated. So when you look at my old videos, you're not looking at like a different me, you're just looking at the not liberated Jackie. I'm so grateful that I'm living out my purpose with my channel now and doing that, but like 10 times amplified. If I knew then what I know now, I probably would have put a lot more into my channel. I probably would have been myself. I would have put more personality into my videos. But you know what? I can't change my path at all, but it is nice to be able to look back at old videos and be like, wow, I've really come a long way. Tell the truth, shame the devil. Do you like 2020s version of this look or do you like 2009s version of this look? Be honest in the comments down below, let me know. And once again, you can check out everything from Belief and the Let It Glow holiday set down below in the description box. Shout out to Believe for sponsoring yet another video. And if you wanna watch another video, I'll just link it here. Mm -hmm, that's exactly what I'll do because at the end of the day, you're not going nowhere, at least not without a mask. So watch another video, you might, you minus well. You minus well. I'll wait. Hurry up. Good night.